So, as you know, this month is Black History Month. And so I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the really amazing black artists that are out there. The first one, um, there is this woman from a long time ago by the name of Augusta Savage. And she was a sculptor. A sculptor um, makes statues and three-dimensional art pieces and she did amazing work. The other person that is really famous and has become very popular is Corey Baxdale. Corey Baxdale does what we call street art. He loves to paint on the walls, sort of like graffiti, but really great, great art. And I bet you didn't know this, but there is a football player who has been playing for a while. He's a linebacker on a few, a few of the teams out there. I think he played for the Bills and the Jets. Um, and his name is Aaron Mabin. So Aaron Mabin has been creating some beautiful, amazing artwork. So I just want to share some of these with you. The one artist that we are going to focus on today is Alma Thomas. Now, Alma Thomas is an abstract painter. I love abstract. Abstract means when you get to do something with really odd designs, patterns, and colors, and sometimes they don't really look like anything, but they're just beautiful to look at. And we're going to create a really beautiful pattern abstract. So, I'm just going to start it and show you how to get started. You're going to need um, a regular white piece of paper. And for this one, you can use paints if you still have some watercolors. But you can use markers. I think markers are going to be a lot more fun this time. Using markers, you're going to create a pattern, which means I'm just going to pick three or four colors that I'm going to repeat. A pattern means we repeat the same thing over and over but I'm going to alternate. That means we're going to change one color and then another and then another. So I'm going to use purple, I'm going to use red, and I'm going to use green for my whole picture. So these three colors are going to become my main colors. But I'm going to start with a big orange circle. So I'm going to start with an orange circle right here. I'm going to start at the corner of my paper, any corner circle and I'm going to fill it in with my marker so I've got an orange circle it's right here at the corner of my paper so now that I did my circle I'm going to go ahead and start with my green marker and I'm going to start making I'm just going to do a pattern around the circle I'm going to make lines So there's our first two rows, and I'm going to go to my red, and so I will just continue this process. It's a little time consuming. Sometimes I like to do things that are repetitive, and that means things that repeat themselves, because it helps me to calm my brain. It's just very easy to do, and it's sort of like a way to meditate. When I get to the edge of that side of the paper, it's going to run out. Now I'm going to go back to green. So I'm just going to repeat this whole pattern over and over until I fill the whole paper. I'm going to do two rows of green. All right, have fun. Take your time and go slow so that it looks very nice and neat. Don't forget, scholars, please put your names on all your projects so that when I open them up, I have your name right there. All right. Have fun.